Plymouth, a vibrant city of culture tucked away in the southwest corner of England. During World War II, the city suffered heavy bombing and much of the city was destroyed. It's since been rebuilt to become the lively place we know today. Renowned for its maritime history, the city has played host to a number of important figures such as Sir Francis Drake and more recently the late artist Robert Linkovich. Robert was a very complicated character, I think. He was a genuine radical in his thinking. Robert Oscar Lenkovich was born in London in 1941. His parents were Jewish refugees from the Second World War and ran a hotel in North London. He began painting at an early age, finding inspiration in the hotel's guests. Here he lived alongside his mother, father and two brothers whilst attending art school. He continued to work in London, painting portraits of vagrants and generally disturbed people who he often invited into his home. His neighbours eventually became agitated at the coming and going of these unsavoury characters and grew to dislike Linkovich. In 1964, he was driven out of the area and moved to Plymouth. I think he's... Obviously, his kind of painting, which is, uh, first of all, figurative painting, and, and secondly, uh, academic figurative painting, uh, aren't, aren't very fashionable. Uh, styles in, in, in the current art world which tends to be preoccupied more with other forms of visual art, um, installation work, conceptual work and it must be said that Robert had plenty time for that kind of, of work. He wasn't in any way a, a, a sort of reactionary against modern forms of, of, of visual art, uh, quite the contrary. A lot of the painters for instance he was interested in were uh, to what would most people see as more difficult painters of, of, of the 20th century. He was particularly fond of the work of Jasper Johns, the American artist. So uh, it would be a mistake to see Robert Lankovich as a throwback, as, as is often suggested, to some kind of old masters type painting. I think that, that that's a fundamental mistake in, in the way of seeing him and his work. Um, so yeah, he was a very modern painter, I think, with, 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 with modern ideas, but his work incorporating a high skill element, um, I think uh, perhaps didn't uh, lend itself very kindly towards uh, the current vogue and, and, and art establishment's uh, perception of, of what visual art should be. Perhaps the most famous pieces of his work are the two murals that grace the Barbican. Their sheer size and detail is quite remarkable and they have become a key part of Plymouth. The local people found him um, intriguing um, and sometimes, um, I think maybe sometimes they felt a, a puzzlement about something, but I think they gradually got to respect Robert's, uh, uh, Robert's intentions um, and to see the other side of him. You know, not many people knew that he was um, such a, an important teacher and some of the people who came up into the studio would just ask him if he would teach them and he would always agree. One man who played a big part in Lenkovich's paintings was Edward Mackenzie, or as Robert knew him, Diogenes. He was one of the many homeless people that were attracted to Lenkovich's studio. After Diogenes passed away, Robert had his body embalmed and kept it in a drawer in one of his studios. Robert's impact on the Barbican as someone whose 
interesting and who can always be um, counted on to, um, to provoke thought and to, to um, um, I don't know, promote curiosity in almost all aspects of life, really, um, has had the effect of almost revitalising the Barbican. I mean, there are now lots of little private art galleries down here, um, and that's not accidental. It arises because Robert, Robert is like a, a magnet. You know, he's transformed the Barbican, and I'm sure if you talk to the private galleries, they would say the same sort of thing. They would all say that they owe a huge debt to him in terms of um, their own understanding about art, really, um, and also as businesses. Robert is big business in Plymouth now. February 2004, some of Robert's finest works were auctioned off in one of his galleries. Collectors and fans travelled for miles to get the chance to snap up some of his work. There is no doubt that Robert Lenkovich was an extraordinary man whose legacy will live on in both his paintings and in the people that he touched. <laughs>